My sweet summer child, what do you know of fear? Fear is for the winter, my little lord, when the snows fall a hundred feet deep and the ice wind comes howling out of the north. Fear is for the long night, when the sun hides its face for years at a time, and little children are born and live and die all in darkness, while the dire roofs grow gaunt and hungry, and the white walkers move through the woods. Thousands and thousands of years ago, winter came that was cold and hard and endless beyond all memory of man. There came a night that lasted a generation, and kings shivered and died in their castles, even as the swineherds in their hovels. Women smothered their children rather than see them starve, and cried and felt their tears freeze on their cheeks. In that darkness, the others came for the first time. They were cold things, dead things, that hated iron and fire and the touch of the sun and every creature with hot blood in its veins. They swept over holdfasts and cities and kingdoms felled heroes and armies by the score, riding their pale dead horses and leading hosts of the slain. All the swords of men could not stay their advance, and even maidens and suckling babes found no pity in them. They hunted the maids through frozen forests and fed their dead servants on the flesh of human children. Now these were the days before the Andals came, and long before the women fled across the narrow sea from the cities of the Rhine, and the hundred kingdoms of those times were the kingdoms of the first men who had taken these lands from the children of the forest. Yet here and there, in the fastness of the woods, the children still lived in their wooden cities and hollow hills, and the faces in the trees kept watch. So, as cold and death filled the earth, the last hero determined to seek out the children in the hopes that their ancient magics could win back what the armies of men had lost. He set out into the dead lands with a sword, a horse, a dog, and a dozen companions. For years he searched until he despaired of ever finding the children of the forest in their secret cities. One by one his friends died, and his horse, and finally even his dog, and his sword froze so hard the blade snapped when he tried to use it and the others smelled the hot blood in him and came silent on his trail stalking him with packs of pale white spiders big as hounds <laughs> <laughs>